Happy Arvo. Hello. How are you doing? Especially you, Rob. Rob sent this video in. First 100 years of mateship. Australia and the U.S. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't... I never heard the word mateship before. I assume it's like a... It's like a cooler way of saying friendship. Or that we're allies. I assume. Um, by a channel called Australia in the U.S. I might have to check out this channel. Uh, go check them out. Link down below. Small channel. But this video... I don't know. It should be cool, huh? First 100 years of being allies, I guess. It's a long time. So, let's check it out. The United States of America and the Commonwealth of Australia, <laughs> a bond that can be traced back to the battlefields of World War I. This is already epic. In 1918, at Le Amel on the Western Front, Four companies of the American Expeditionary Force fought under the command of Australian General John Monash. Really? They fought under an Australian general? Oh, that's badass. La Amel was the Americans' first offensive action of the war under the command of a foreign general. And the first time Australians and Americans had fought side by side. To honor the American troops he was leading, Monash set the date of the battle for the 4th of July, 1918. No In the way. battle, Americans... That's how you know you're going to win, first of all. When you get to set the date of the battle, that's how you know you're going to win. I don't know. That just seems like, you know, it's like, when should we win this battle? Let's do it on the 4th of July. <laughs> that's awesome. For our American brothers. That's dope. And Australians fought together with distinction. 14 of the Americans who fought at Amel were awarded British military decorations. The Americans... I was afraid she was going to say 14 passed away. But that's awesome. They got awarded. Amel were awarded British military decorations. The Americans and the Australians trained together before the attack, developing such a bond that Americans were heard to say that, if necessary, they would sooner change uniforms to fight with the Australians than let their new buddies down. <laughs> Together, they achieve... That's badass. I love it. Man, there's something about the U.S. and Australia, huh? There's some kind of special bond there, despite being on opposite sides of the planet. Just a lot of similar core values. Victory in just 93 minutes and helped to turn the tide... 93 minutes? I've achieved victory and it's taken me longer in a game of Fortnite. It's taken me longer on the toilet to achieve victory than that. 93 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Um, 93 minutes, holy shit. Would sooner change uniforms to fight with the Australians than let their new buddies down. Together, they achieved victory in just 93 minutes and helped to turn the tide of war against the Germans. 2018 marks the centenary of that battle and of the deep and enduring bond between our two countries. That battle on the Western Front was the opening chapter in a story of mateship. So 2018 was the 100 year. Okay, this was uploaded in 2017. Got it. Damn. So it's like 160 years now. Quality valued by Australians as standing for loyalty, friendship, trust and sacrifice. This partnership based on mutual respect, cooperation and shared values has joined the United States and Australia as allies in every major conflict since that day in La Amel. We fought together again in the Second World War when almost one million American service personnel passed through Australia, campaigning together on land, sea and air. It is a good, you know, strategic, you know, I mean, it's really far away, but that's a good thing, you know. It's kind of like Hawaii in that way, where it just globally positioned it's good to have have bases um, around the world like that. That's that's pretty awesome. A million American soldiers. That's crazy. Nell passed through Australia, campaigning together on land, sea, and air to final victory in the war in the Pacific, fighting side by side for shared beliefs. The bond was strengthened in Korea, in Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. In every conflict where they met, Australia. You guys sent guys to Afghanistan and Iraq? I didn't even, I didn't realize that. 
Wow. Australian and American service personnel made lifelong mates. The military alliance endures today. American and Australian armed forces work together in Iraq and Syria to combat the threat of terrorism and are working, exercising and training in each other's countries. The US Marine Corps rotation in Darwin and the large number of Australians currently working across 31 American states are dramatic examples of a relationship that was formalized in 1951 when both nations signed the ANZUS Treaty, which remains a cornerstone of Australia's national... S security treaty between US, Australia, New Zealand. Okay, I might have to look into this, the ANZUS. ...security and foreign policy. The treaty pledges each country to come to the support oh, of the okay. other when under attack. And on the 11th of September, 2001, Australian Prime Minister John Howard invoked the treaty for the first time. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I remember hearing in this. Wow. <sighs> That's so badass to think we got friends all the way across the other side of the world who were like, time to invoke the treaty, folks. Um, Let's get out. Dear Mr. President, uh, the Australian government and people share the sense of horror experienced by your nation. You can, however, be assured of Australia's resolute solidarity with the American people at this most tragic time. A special mateship may have been forged in war, but it has prospered and grown stronger in peace. A shared love of freedom, democracy and diversity, a determination to improve, succeed and innovate. These qualities have seen our countries grow together. From our leaders to our students, for decades. Man, this video is making me feel real patriotic right now. You know? <laughs> Sometimes it can be hard with all the crap that goes on in politics and in foreign policy all around the world and everything, and there's always so much division. It's kind of refreshing to see a video, you know, about the the mateship between Australia and the US. No division there. Americans and Australians have crossed the ocean to each other's shores, sharing knowledge and passion. We are scientists and researchers. We work together to reach the moon and out to the stars. We are pioneers, explorers, and innovators. We are artists and... We got some pretty cool countries, okay? Okay, let's be honest. We're not too bad. Creators. We are sporting fans and sporting rivals. We are investors and important trading partners. The US-Australia Free Trade Agreement that came into force over 10 years ago has doubled US exports to Australia mm. and American investment. I didn't know that. So there's a free trade agreement and that's not that long ago, 10 years ago, and it was 2016, so 2006. <clears throat> wow. Down Under has helped Australia to become one of the largest exporters into Asia. The tourism exchange between Australia and the United States helps build a strong human bridge. That's true. That's I, I, I could imagine that. I mean, Australia and the United States have to be too. I don't know. I'd be interested to see what countries around the world get the most tourists. But those two have to be up there. I mean, I know a lot of people. For as much as a lot of foreigners hate the U.S., I know a lot of people travel here to to go to New York and California and stuff in Australia, of course, kind of goes without saying. Stunning, especially to get away from the winter, like it is right now here in America, at least, and Europe. <laughs> We're better to go than Australia. That makes mateship real, nearly 100 years after La Amel. From the Western Front in France to the first steps on the moon, this mateship reflects our shared optimism and our common vision of a bright future. I can't help but laugh when I see Trump. This mate is just such. Oh man, mateship. Talk about division right there. I don't think there's a more divisive character in the world. Reflects our shared optimism and our common vision of a bright future. This mateship, forged on a battlefield a hundred years ago, has built an unbreakable foundation. On that foundation, we will build the bond of friendship for the next 100 years. Yes, sir. We are mates. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's like an honor to be called a mate, you know what I mean? Because that's not a word we say over here in America. 
so to hear like Australia be like, yeah, United States, they're our mates. <laughs> it's like, thank you, thank you. Uh, that was a good video. That was really, I'm pumped up. <laughs> Thanks for sending that in, Rob. And thank you for watching. And thank Australia in the US. I wonder what this was. Was this from something? Because that was really well produced. I need to check out this channel real quick. Australian coffee in Texas. <laughs> oh, man. I need to watch some more videos. Um, yeah, go check out this channel. <clears throat> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Arvo.